Well, hi all, well, big welcome back to the channel. Well, you join us at Plitfus Lakes and from here we're heading south. Bit of time on the coast where we meet some new friends, a bit of great off good camping and a little taste of what Christ is like in the middle of summer. We'd love to know your thoughts. Leave us a comment. Let's have a look. Right, so we're on our little plot, 41 euros a night. So it's kind of up there. Um, there's no choice, you've got to have electric, so that's it, all in. Uh, but one of the things you'll notice in Croatia is you actually pay for each individual element. So the, the motorhome or camper van is one element, per adult, per child, per scooter, per pet. Uh, so if you're a family of four with a dog, um, it's, it's pretty expensive. So instead of paying 41 euros, you'd pay about 70 euros. So it's kind of up there in cost. So just something to consider if you're coming to Croatia. I offload the scooter, ready for an early start in order to explore the Plitfis Lakes, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As it's a national park, it's understandable that drone flying isn't permitted. So we were here at five past seven in the morning thinking we would beat all the crowds, but nobody here. No, everybody else was here at 527. Yeah, so, uh, but we're nearly the front of the queue, but honestly, it's a big queue. It is. There's a number of Unimog buses which transport you to various entry points within the National Park. Top tip, book your tickets early online. Well, we're almost first off the bus, which is great, so we're going to try and get ahead of the crowds. Oh, yeah. Well, this place is pretty wow. The water is crystal clear and around every bend there's a waterfall. So we've been in the National Park for about an hour and 10 minutes and we've seen about 10 other people so getting here early was definitely the right call. But it's absolutely beautiful here. The water, the colour of the water is something else. Okay, so we're at the boat and I think the crowds I've definitely caught up with this. Oh. Okay, you know what? We've had to stop for some sustenance. Who knew apple strudel was a thing in Croatia? I'd definitely get here early because this is the queue for the boat.
gorgeous as the Plitvis legs are, you're not allowed into the water. So we hit the road in search of somewhere to cool off. Right, brilliant little park up by the water. So we're getting the swimmers on and we're getting in there. How's that is? Yeah, that's amazing at the end of a long hot day. It's lovely. Oh, it's a bit stony on the foot, but... Just get in, you wuss. My turn. <laughs> Down. I spent the whole morning surrounded by water and not being able to get in it, so it's quite nice to uh, actually take a break. So what we didn't explain today was our quick exit from the campsite. So we got back about half past one and we thought actually we could we could move off from here because it's 41 euros a night and uh, we didn't really need to be there for any reason. So we thought okay well we'll pack up quickly and get away. So we did having filled up with water and uh, so yeah here we are but the legs today were just incredible um, really really well managed um, and although it was expensive uh, it was worth it it's one of those things I think you have to do so it's 40 euros each so like everything else in Croatia it's it's kind of up there in cost but we we had about four and a half, five hours there, uh, and it was absolutely beautiful. So, you know, we've done it, and uh, we probably won't go back. But yeah, I definitely recommend people go there because it's absolutely um, crystal clear water, and, and just a picture at every every turn. So because of the weather, we've decided to stay put. Um, we want to go back to the coast, but it's like this on the coast as well. So there's no point paying for a campsite when it's like this. So we thought we'll stay here for a bit. We'll catch up on a little bit of video editing and a you know a few emails and so on. And um, it's given hopefully, us a, a really good excuse for tea and toast. Yeah, hopefully the weather will pick up tomorrow, and then we'll head over to the coast. That's oh. our plan. Okay, another hard day at the office. <laughs> Izzy's uh, hard at it, slaving away in the kitchen. As always, because I'm the only one that does. Do you know what, honestly, somebody made comment to say about my cooking, but I actually probably cook more you than Izzy. Cook as much as me. More. Not as well, Not as though. More and better. You're so. really good at sort of like... What's the word? Assembling things on a plate. That is rubbish. I'm I, that is... A bloody slur, by the way. What about my Tuscan stew? Oh yeah, Forgot bean about dishes, that. curries. Yeah. Anyway, uh, chicken Caesar tonight. So uh, always a bit of a treat, actually. Yeah, it's nice. And then we're definitely heading on tomorrow. Back at the coast, and this is looking promising. I don't suppose we'll be close to the water, but do you want to just stop there for a moment? We come onto the coast, and we found this amazing little site. It's really lovely. It scores really, really well on park tonight. Very chilled and laid back. We're right on the water, so we're about to go for a dip, but there is one problem absolutely no Wi Fi at all. And I'm supposed to be talking to my son today, my sister, and Phil's supposed to be talking to his daughter. So I think we're probably only going to stay for one night, which is a real shame. Right, I've just burned a chicken. You know I'm in trouble. Oh. Right, I think I've just about salvaged it. Come on then, Izzy, what have we got tonight? Uh, we've got um, chicken marinated in soy and honey. Uh, served with a salad of baby gem lettuce, cucumber, pomegranate seeds, red onion with a satay sauce. Oh. Cheers. Eight. 
Okay, sadly, we are going to move on. It's a great little stop here, but we don't have any signal and we've got a few business bits and pieces that we have to take care of today. Um, so, yeah, we're moving on. We're all packed up. Is it just going to pay the bill? And then we're back on the road. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's yes, gorgeous. Definitely. Yep, another gorgeous afternoon in Croatia, and we're back on the coast. Oh, oh I've cooled off already. <laughs> now there's an image. <laughs> right, tonight is Friday night. That means it's curry night in our house. We normally have Izzy's chicken biryani, which I absolutely love, but tonight, it's going to be veggie and it's going to be green lentil dal, which is gorgeous. Well, Izzy's definitely treating this this morning. We've got some pancakes on the go. Can never really have too much maple syrup. They look amazing. So we're just down at the beach at the minute, waiting for a couple who give us a shout out on Facebook a little while ago, Pip and Andy, and they've got a rib and they're here for a bit in Croatia. And they said, if you're passing by, give us a shout and they're going to swing by, pick us up in the rib, and we're going to head off, find a bar somewhere, have a drink, and um, hopefully have a lovely afternoon. Why is it? Can you fall in for camera? Uh, uh, no. Yes. No. Come on, that's what <laughs> no. we need. You know how good you are on your feet with balance? I know. Well, this thing's bad enough, just standing on it. Oh. Right, I think that's them um, coming in, actually. Yeah. Well, they did wave at me, so... <laughs> yeah, random people random waving. Random people, yeah. yeah. Could well be. And they kindly gives us a tour of the islands, pointing out the various areas of interest as we soak up the numerous layers of blue. All this pointing around is thirsty work, so we pull into a little bay for a cold beer. Oh, that water's amazing. <laughs> a little later, we set off again with the sun a little bit lower in the sky before stopping at Tisno for an ice cream. Thank you. I want the second one. <laughs> 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 Listen, I do have to say a massive thank you to you guys because that's been a lot of fun today. And you're on so, camera. <laughs> no, you, well, you're on camera now. <laughs> so, yeah. But, guys, thank you. Thank that you. was a, a lot of fun. It has. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's no, been lovely. Definitely. I've really enjoyed speaking to other people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody would have done, but no, it's been really nice. It's always so interesting. Uh, it is. Guys, thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Well, we're back, showered, and just thinking what a fantastic afternoon that was with those yeah, guys. Yeah, it's been lovely. I just seeing the, the coastline actually from another perspective mm. has just been brilliant. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're Time going for, for something to eat. a little drink. The next morning, we continue south in search of somewhere to stop overnight. Right, little foot wrecky because I think we've found the most perfect little spot for us tonight.
Well, it's just taken five minutes just to get a level because it's so worth it. It's a fantastic little stop. Uh, it has taken a little bit of getting here. Uh, I'm absolutely leaking. Uh, but we just could not get a pitch on the coast. And from when we got up this morning, Izzy's been on the phone ringing tiny campsites, like 30 pitches, right up to the big ones, like, you know, a couple of thousand pitches. And they all say the same thing. We're not taking bookings. Turn up. If we have a space, then you can get on. So we went to one. Uh, and we sort of got on, but it wasn't level. Right, bes right beside two of the vans. Um, it was 50 euros a night. It was beside the road, and we just thought, this is crazy. This is not how we like to travel. Um, and not how we like to spend 50 euros a night. So we just said, thanks, but no thanks. And we headed on, found this little spot. And uh, yeah, I think it's ideal. Exactly what I like. I'm just having a peanut because we sat here with a drink, watching the sun go down, and we've got the most incredible view. We really have the most incredible little park up. And we had a bit of a morning this morning, as I was saying earlier, we just couldn't get parked. And you stumble upon these little gems, and you, you know, here we are watching the sun go down, thinking, yeah, wow, we'd have this every day of the week. This really is oh, our cup of tea, but it's hot. I must mm. say, even it's early evening, and I still think it's oh, certainly in the 30s still. There's a little breeze, but... Uh, I'm hoping that little breeze might become a bit more of a breeze. We're hoping we've Before got a bit of... Fed. Yeah, we've got a bit of eleva elevation tonight, and we're kind of hoping that we'll get a bit of a breeze, temperature will calm down a little bit, and we'll be able to get a good night's sleep. Well, there's no question, this is definitely what it's about when you're on the road. And, when you get these days that you know, the weather's good, you've got these fantastic locations, just being able to sort of cook outside, it's just a lovely thing. It's too good to miss. Oh, the wine's warm. Yeah. It's been, it's been in the cupboard all day. Oh, I'm not surprised. Guys, big thank you for joining us. Don't forget to leave us a comment. And of course, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.